because detectives want you to take a good look at these two people. This is 35 year old Melinda Smith and 43 year old Jason Whitney. But detectives tell us they're well known in the adult film world as Mercedes Carrera and Damon Sins. They're an actress and a director, detectives say, in pornographic movies. Police want their pictures out there in the public because they believe they could have been sexually abusing other children as well. Detectives say that about a week ago, that little girl's family contacted them, saying the couple had sexually abused her. When they went into the apartment here, they say the bedroom was set up like a pornographic film set, and that among the lights and the cameras, they found a large amount of evidence that substantiated that little girl's story. You know, we've discussed many adult stars on this particular channel. Uh, the situations with Ron Jeremy, uh, Jenna Jameson, and many, and, and many others. Uh, the thing about it is, one thing about the adult industry, you see a lot of these girls getting on OnlyFans and stuff like that, and they think it's, you know, it's a glamorous life. The thing about it is when you look back in the history of the adult industry, there's been a lot of suffering and pain and deaths even. I mean, we can go all the way back to the John Holmes incident. Uh, if you ever saw the movie Wonder, I think it's Wonderland or on there. Uh, and, you know, you've heard the deaths. You've, uh, if you haven't yet, do Google that. Uh, do, uh, the career of John Holmes, and you'll see what I mean by that. And recently, in fact, it's on hold right now, the Ron Jeremy trial, and I've kept up with it. Nothing has happened in the last couple of months. Uh, the, the, supposedly, he was getting a psych evaluation. I figured the evaluation would have been done by now, but... Uh, we haven't heard anything from the courts yet if this case will go forward, if he's able to handle the case itself. Supposedly, he's lost it. He's the, literally, his mind is just, you know, out there at the moment. But there's another case that's been kept a little quiet. Not too much of the media has been talking about this. Uh, they originally did report it back when it first occurred and this is about three years believe it or not three years ago this case is three years old and it still hasn't seen the light of a courtroom as a, well it has but it hasn't been um tried as of yet and it looks like it's going to get another delay now if you're not uh, familiar with mercedes carrera uh she and her husband jason whitney are in real bad trouble because basically, uh, let's see, so I don't get in trouble on YouTube. Uh, they have multiple abuse of children sexually. They're being charged with, and we're talking very young children, the situation. Now, like I said, we, facts, evidence, it has to be tried. Uh, but let, let's read into this. This is out of XBiz. Uh, Mercedes Carrera pretrial date postponed until July. Rancho Cucamon, California, of course. The pretrial hearing in the Mercedes Carrera criminal case concerning multiple child sex abuse charges against Carrera and her husband, which has been scheduled for Monday at uh, Rancho Cucamongo Courthouse in San Bernardino, California, has been postponed again, this time until July 12th. This is about the fifth, sixth, or seventh, I think, on there. Uh, Carrera and her husband, Jason, were arrested after a police raid of their Rancho Cucamonga. You know, I love that they keep repeating Rancho Cucamonga. Rancho Cucamonga home in February 1st, 2019. They now have been in the county jail uh, without a trial for over three years. First without bail and later after they had liquidated their assets and had no source of income due to their incarceration, which was set, a bail was set at two million for each. A pretrial hearing to determine the jury selection process and the date beginning of the actual trial has already been postponed numerous times, most recent on Monday. The new date, July 12th, uh, like several 
previous postponements appeared in the document filed online. Now understand, something is going on with this and they're not getting into deep into this. And of course, obviously something's up and uh, I guess it's a lot to deal with possibly case evidence, the situation. This has happened before in a lot of cases. This is not something uncommon in the when it comes to trials like this, uh, criminal trials, sometimes you don't see the light of day for several years, uh, you know, to that situation, literally. And we're talking about the court case itself. The other half is that both parties are in jail right now and still in lockup. If they are guilty, and like I said, facts and evidence to the situation, and there, and I would, you know, this would be, because I haven't seen any of the evidence to the nature. And like I said, if true, wow, this is disgusting. This is, and I heard, I think, I, mean, I can't be 100% on this. One of them happens to be their child, I believe. I Don't quote me on that. But there was an article or two that was saying that. But like I said, facts and evidence to the, to the nature of the beast on this. And like, and like I said before, this is not uncommon in the adult industry. It, it, this has happened. You know, adult industry has its dark sides, its demons. And this has happened before. You know, we had the Tracy Lords incident many years ago. If you're not uh, familiar with the Tracy Lords incident, uh, Tracy Lords was an adult star. You may see her today in regular movies and TV series, stuff like, you know, Married with Children. Uh, she did a Stephen King. But she was an adult star prior to that. But she lied about her age. And she was doing porn underage. She was... 14, 15 years old when she was doing doing a lot of her stuff. I mean, I worked for a company that uh, did duplication for her movies. Uh, when the word got out, uh, they pulled every library piece and, and erased every uh, video cassette that was done of her. And basically they packed up and shipped back every master back to the original production holder of that. They didn't want nothing to do with that. And I agree, I agree with that a hundred percent. You know, you got to get rid of that stuff, you know, cause you're going to have the police, the police is going to come down and knock on your door and check your inventory, you know, for this. And I don't know if it did happen because I worked the night, I worked the night shift afternoon to night shift. Um, so if it happened during the day, I never heard of it. But it probably never happened because basically they, you know, they had the evidence. Hey, we shipped everything back. But understand, she was underage. These companies were held liable. A lot went through with this. It's, you know, these are, these are the many stories that has happened. And there are videos of a lot of these adult stars saying, you know, how it is in the business. It's never easy. There are a lot of dangers. Drugs, alcoholism, you know, things that some girls or guys would never ever do in the light of day, you know, just, just to make money or they don't make enough money for some of the stuff they do as well. You know, it's, it's amazing sometimes, but also you get the other end of the spectrum where there are some stars that they think they're prima donnas. And they think they, they, that they're the best. They're the next uh, Seika or the next uh, Vanessa Del Rio uh, because they're basically they're popular now because of the internet. You know, we didn't have the internet back in the early days of the 70s, the 80s. Uh, pornography, we had VHS tapes. And they were popular then. They were. They didn't need the internet, you know. You had, you know. And then you had uh, the cable companies, who also showed some of these movies that you know you paid subscription services. That was one thing I talked about in another video. That basically, uh, when we were in public access, there was some some of the people that I worked with uh, that had shows around us 
that had adult shows and you know they were they had their commercials and stuff like that and that's where they were making their money but the, you know in most cases they were giving away adult content for free really other than advertisement and companies like time warner which ran public access for a while didn't like that and try to push out uh these these creators uh, and it turned into a lawsuit so there's a lot like i said there's a lot of stories that we can you know talk about in, in the adult industry some good some bad i mean you i talked about sharon mitchell a couple of times that she's a doctor now she's dropped out of the industry but she's um staying close to the industry by helping people uh with you know sexually transmitted diseases especially with the aids uh, virus that's out there still and then you have others that just literally their careers have crashed you know that ron jeremy happens to be in that one that his, his career has crashed you know and there are many others that you don't hear about in the industry so we'll monitor this and see what happens next with uh mercedes uh, carrera and um uh, We'll get back to you as soon as we know something more about this. Uh, subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you on the next one.